Hello and welcome to Granny Does Games. Um, we're trying out a new game today, Botany Manor. Um, it's um, it's just come out a few days ago. I watched one person play the first little bit of it because I didn't quite know what it was all about. But I thought it might be something that people would like on the channel. Uh, it's like a gardening game. So we're in Somerset, Somerset, in the west of England, <clears throat> and we have a little bit of gardening to do, but we have to solve some puzzles in order to do the gardening. Um, yeah, so we have to look around and see what we can click on here. Um, I'm hoping it's not too jerky. So let's dive in. We're so happy to have you back at Botany, Botany Manor. Lady Arabella. Bella, I'm a Lady Arabella. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you, we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much. Bennett. I'm assuming Bennett is the... Um... Collect parcel. Is that a parcel? Um, the butler or something. What's in the parcel? Ooh, forgotten flora. A herbarium by Arabella Green. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you've completed your research and will be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Okay. Forgotten Flora, researched and compiled by Arabella Green in 1890. Maps, chapter one, a fresh start. We have nothing in there at the moment, so we have to fill up this book. Anything else that we need to do? Oh, I don't think... I, do I need to go out right now? Uh, perhaps I do need to go out. Okay, let's go out. Oh. A fresh start. Start. Chapter 1. Okay. We can interact with this. Uh, we can interact with this. We can interact, there's some charts, some wild flowers. Okay, what have we got here? We have E. Okay, potting instructions. Place a pot on the saucer, add soil, plant a seed, water the seed. Alrighty then. Okay, got a pot. Oh, we've got E, scoop soil. Oh, there we go. Uh, we've got a seed. Okay, add a clue. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I need to research its temperature requirements first. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Okay, righto. So we need to go and find some clues first. I think some of them might be here. A windmill wart. It's a volcanic flower, which means that, assumingly, it grows somewhere hot. Maybe. Okay. Um, so this is the temperature. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help organize and validate your research. Okay. So, add a clue. Yes, wildflowers in the conservatory. Add a clue. Okay. Let's go look at the temperature thing. Sicily. <clears throat> Spain. Portugal. I don't know where this is a volcanic flower. Oh, whoops. Uh, volcanic flowers. 
come from all these places. So I don't know where this flower comes from. How will we find out where this flower comes from? Okay, are there any other clues in here? Um, hmm. There doesn't seem to be any other clues in here as to where this flower comes from. So maybe we have to go outside. Ah, here we go. Somerset Falls, victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Okay. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in such conditions. Oh, E. Postcard for Marianne. Okay. So let's say. Oh, on my hike, I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to this, it, due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory, your friend and peer, Marianne. Well, thanks, Marianne. So, we know that it comes from Sicily, and Sicily is 60 degrees for a volcanic flower. Oh, I did it again. Um, right, <clears throat> right, so we need something to be 60 degrees. Well, this looks like a heating thing. Okay, so how do we turn this wheel? How do we rotate the wheel? Oh, oh that's going the wrong way. Okay, we've got 60 degrees. Now, do we put the pot next to the to here? That doesn't look like it. Didn't we see something else over here? This thing. Oh, that's a heat vent, and there's a dish there. I know. Okay. Uh, we pick up the pot and go put it there. Don't we put the pot down? There. Okay, but we need to water it, don't we? Uh, watering can. Um, oh, is it because we haven't filled in the clue? Um, do we have to fill in the clue somewhere? The last clue. Do we have an inventory uh, tab? Here we go. So, add a clue. Temperature chart. Add a clue. The postcard. Oh, hello. Okay. Now can we pick up the watering can? Why can't we pick up the watering can? can't we pick up this watering can? What is going on with the watering can? What do I have to do? Do I have to open the vent first? Now can I pick up the watering can? No. I have to water it. <coughs> Look, it says, place pot in saucer, add soil, plant the seed, water the seed. Why can't I water the seed? What haven't I done? Okay, maybe I didn't plant a seed. Hold on. I thought I planted the seed. Perhaps I didn't. Oh, now I did. Now I can water it. Okay. Now I can put it next to the heat. Now I can turn the heat on. Oh, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. Hello. 
know. Everything is becoming clearer. And we've got windmill wart. Grow the windmill wart. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees. The bud contains an air, air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from the dense smog. Gosh, we could do with some of those in IRL, couldn't we? Okay, so, well that was nice. Look how beautiful this is. Stained glass windows, wow, look at all this. Absolutely stunning, that's a wisteria. It's a very old wisteria, I can tell you that. Wisterias can grow to be very ancient. Um, okay. Right, here we are. Any more clues? We have to search around to see if there's any clues anywhere. Well, there's a book, Drawing from Nature. Can I open it? Nope. Okay. Cup of tea. Oh, apparently we can sit on the benches if we want to. Very nice. Okay. Looks like we're in a nice village by the looks over the walls. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Beautiful green garden. We can look through the... Oh, that looks like the house. Uh... We just came from that way, didn't we? Silly me. Okay, so there are different ways. Oh, it's locked. I need a key. Let me in. Shake a locked door. Was an achievement, apparently. <laughs> okay. Do seem to have locked doors here. Can I go this way? Apparently not. That must be. That's to the. Don't know where that goes. Home of the Botany Manor. Home of the Green family. Okay. There's a post box. Ah, oh, there's a key. What's this say? I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Arabella. I have a key. Okay. Okay, so I suppose I can go in the house now. I hope. Let's go have a look. Let's open this gate. Oh, cool. And there is Botany Manor. a little oh, it's, music's a bit loud here oh. okay somebody's walking stick okay somebody's walking stick aha my dear friend good luck on your trip I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all things, um, as in other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well now, you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I'm inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend, always, Eleanor. Okay. That looks like Eleanor's hat. She obviously is a bit too frail to go for... Um... Well, I can go out there. another bit of the garden that's the orchard which is locked I obviously have to find a key to the orchard okay <clears throat> I have to be careful so I don't miss things in my um, 
usual ADHD manner. And I kind of go, ooh, shiny. Ooh. Oh, there's a. Oh, I can't pick that up. A pair of secateurs. The gardener's friend, secateurs. So it's a very nice. Mm. That one's locked. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like we are being guided gently. That's very beautiful, isn't it? Stack of books. 18, 1860 was this, wasn't it? So that means like Victorian era. There's lots of um, ladies will perambulate around the garden. Okay, ah. So we have got another seed to find by the looks of it. Here's a duck. <laughs> quack quack inspector duck I just <laughs> I just got an achievement for inspecting a duck that was a lot that was funny okay what have we here my dearest Arabella oh, tab there we go that was a bit a bit um, blurry for me I don't know about you Hopgood household 1890. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in that bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister Elizabeth. Okay. Right. <clears throat> now where is this elusive seed? Is it in here? Oh, survivors of adversity. Okay. Ah, it's the family tree. Ursula Pengilly was the matriarch. Um, so where am I on this? Arabella, there I am. Ah, so my sister Elizabeth married Arthur Hopgood and has a daughter. Okay. Lady Alabella Green, I am pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require for any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Okay, lovely. There's a bug. There ha seems to be a tree in the middle of the, whatever this room is, section room. Lovely roaring fire. Can't get in there. Oh, hold on. The Western Oh, so Taunton to London Paddington. Return journey first class. Okay, that must be Arabella's packing. Is our packing? What else have we got? Collect seeds. Oh, oh hello. Hello, hello. Fulgaria. I came across the Fulgaria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Must be a clue. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Okay. Oh, we've got some photographs. A blurry photograph. A dark photograph. A well-lit photograph. Okay. Taken with a flash, I suppose. 
anything else in here up here Dartmoor home to the breathtaking sights hound tour Wisman's wood Becky Falls the Dartmoor line okay anything in here I can't seem to go out there I can't get in there oh hello here we go pyrophiles pyrophiles fire has the potential to be among the most devastating force of nature despite this humans have developed the ability to invent wield attempt to manage it meanwhile certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned um, to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Facts about fire pyrophiles. We know all about pyrophiles in Australia because we have pyrophiles. Quite a, a lot of Australian wild um, native flora relies on fire in order to propagate they can't the smoke there's chemicals in the smoke which actually prompts the seed pods to open and the seeds to be able to come out and start growing again some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat okay right ho anything else that one's locked the painting room is locked we've been in here we've been in here do we have to go upstairs nothing here another seat just in case you get tired halfway up the stairs um, oh oh Oh, a letter lock. Oh, I don't think we've found any clues for that yet. Okay. Up here now. Oh, we can't get in there because uh, it's blocked. Okay, have I missed something somewhere around the... Somewhere... I move very slowly and gently because I'm a Victorian lady. Oh, I can go in here. Oh, some sort of chemicals in here. I'm supposed to mix. Inspect the flask. Okay, I've inspected the flask. Put it back. <coughs> Another clue, the art of painting. Okay, put that back. Seat. Oh, there's a big dining room in here. Beautiful. Another lovely fly. I'm not sure that you need the fire to it seems like a lovely day out there. Maybe it's winter time. Oh, hello. Botanical folklore. Folk tales. Some ancient Celtic scribes, tribes, wording, practiced a coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking. A flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. They gathered the gatherer had to find a fulgaria, for this flower is known to bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lighting flashes was striking left lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay. Lightning. <clears throat> Are we going to have to find a storm or something? Arabella and Elizabeth. Okay, it's a photograph. Oh, 
there's a key okay I haven't finished filled in the clues so photographs are the clue Dartmoor is the clue I don't know what that means going around Dartmoor in a storm pyrophiles is the clue folklore book there's one more clue that we have not yet found Lady Arabella, these past weeks have been see I have been seeing a lot of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Okay. Ah, oh, what have we got here? Flash powder. Ah. Flash powder. The bottle contains 75 grams of flash powder, potassium and magnesium, 2 to 1 ratio. Okay, I have to read everything very carefully. Oh, your new Lumen photography, photographic flash lamp. Oh, the instructions, fill the container with flash powder, close the container, press the button connected to the camera and the Lumen flash lamp, witness a bright flash and glasses okay okay then take a picture oh okay oh hold on there's a saucer there i got to make some sort of a flash or something <clears throat> let me have a look at this I need to put flash powder in it. Oh, it says empty. Okay. Means I'm gonna have to make some flash powder, perhaps. Now, where was my plant? Um, I forgot where the plant was now. Uh, was it when we came in? Yes, here it is. Okay, so got to fill that up, got to plant it, got to water it, got to pick it up, got to take it back to the photography room, not that way. This way, I've got to put it in here. I've got to make some more flash powder, I suppose. Two to one. Oh, what was it? I forgot already. Two to one. So two path potassium, one magnesium. Okay. Chemistry. I've got to do chemistry. Okay, two potassium. Uh, potassium. Potassium. More magnesium. Okay. Hopefully, this is what we need. I hope. I'll inspect it. One and two. Okay. Where do we put this though? Ah, put that in there, right? Okay, put the flask down, take a picture. Oh, what am I supposed to do something else? Ah, close it. Whoa, whoa, it grew. I have to add a clue though. Oh, can I not add the clue now? Ah, here we go. Letter from the farmer. Okay. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Um, maybe that's not one. Maybe the flash... No. Maybe 
he um, now reset the clues X to reset the clues X X uh, oh D ah okay oh add a clue A photographs yes okay we did it Phew. good job I didn't think the Dartmoor poster was something okay glass plate cool <clears throat> so we got a key what door does this open I wonder where were the locked doors there was there a locked door around here somewhere the kitchen nope Ah, uh, the back terrace. Ah, okay. This is where we go next. The back terrace. Oh, lovely. Oh, we have a watery can. Ah, uh, we have oh, seeds. Oh, here's our seeds. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, so we have to find another seed we're looking for clues for another seed I've eaten the sandwich somebody has not cleared up seat what is this flowering plants in great bitten britain by anne pratt okay cool where else do we go Um, we've been up here. We can go down here. See if we can find any more clues. Oh, hello. This might be some clues. Seed log. 1890. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location I found them at. Cow parsley, black downhills, poppy, cheddar gorge, buttercups, sturt marches. Ash Plume, Wisman Wood, Wooden Enemy, Holford Combe, Wild Thyme, Coal Bone Wood, Foxglove, Ford Abbey. Okay. Here's our. Oh, this might be a tough case to crack. Ash Plume, Ash. Hmm, another volcanic plant, maybe? Do you think? The formal garden is locked. Okay. Up here. Aha. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous grey squirrels. They're the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbours have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little critters. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. That was a big thing in England when they introduced grey squir squirrels. The native um, red squirrels were out... Um, oh, have I been down here? locked yeah they were uh, they were driven out taken over you know when, when you have an introduced species the introduced species sometimes does much better than the native species and that's what happened with the grey versus the red squirrels in England oh got another key okay clue do we have a clue ah seed lock I think Kitchen notes. 
Thursday, Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to, needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not, may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took two years to be sorted. She's so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list. Flour, milk, potatoes, eggs, leek and carrots. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a tricky one to lock from the other side. Well, I think I've found all the clues on the back terrace. Nope, can't get in that one now. I believe. Have I found the seed yet? I have. Okay. So, I'll put that in there. We'll plant the seed. We'll water the seed. But we haven't found anywhere to put the seed, have we? Is there another locked door here somewhere? No, that's just windows. Okay. Is there a locked door inside? Let's remember the seed is in the back terrace. Locked from the other side. Painting room. That's not the key. Uh, we can't even go in that one. That's the kitchen. That was a clue, wasn't it, for the kitchen? Ah, here we go. Ash. Something about grinding? Do we have to grind something? Ooh. Hello. Weights. Okay. Oops, I did that. Put that, I uh, have to put that back down, okay. Um, something about grinding something. There's a grinder. Mortar and pestle. Carrots. Yes. Okay. Aha, what's this? Kindling. Oh, can't actually read that very well. Dear lady, University College. Okay. We received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby, tending to your garden and collecting flowers in the appropriate domestic space where they may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilised in a career in botan botanical experimentation. Therefore, it is with all politeness we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John Altringham. Yeah, that was, that was the way for poor women. Oh, hello. Ah. The History of Dartmoor. Oh, I can't actually read some of that. Society of Historians, Southwest Group, monthly lecture open to all society members. The History of Dartmoor, given by our resident natural history professor. The professor will present how the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods, how early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pastures using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Okay. Broken mortar. Okay. Hazel's Priceless Recipes. 
for the home, farm, workshop and every department of endeavour. Okay. This is a simple recipe, roasted chestnuts, perfect to warm these co those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnuts, they are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easily easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. Fire. Okay. Hard nut to crack. Is that where we're supposed to put the seed? I've watered it. Oh, E. To someone special. A romantic card. Oop. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of the year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Okay. Okie dokie. Assume that's the back garden out there. And we can't go around there. Some wellies. The back garden. Oh. Oh. Cherry logs. And maple logs. Was there oak? Cherry, maple, and oak. That's the oak log. Oh, somebody's throwing carrots all over the place. Home smoking and curing. Okay. Using the home smokery. Any type of wood you use in your smokery is of great importance, although which one you pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from the different types of tree produces different smoke aromas. This is due to a different chemical composition in each type of smoke and has great impact on the flavour of your smoked food. In summary, choose your logs with care. Okay. Smokehouse. Aha! Hello. Hello. Hello then. Smoked food. Okay. Do I assume that we have to put our seed? <laughs> uh, a duck. I thought I was going to get another achievement for picking up another duck but uh, no not so okay we're in the kitchen so uh, we got to go back and find our plant um, which is uh, 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 in the hallway here oh what happened um, what did it, what happened to it? Um, do I have it? What happened to my plant? Um, confused now. Have I got my plant in my hand? Perhaps. I didn't pick it up. seem to have an inventory do 
Do I have to go back and find the book? Oh, I am. I am slightly confused now. There was an E somewhere. Did you see an E somewhere? E. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. It shut the door. Okay, um, um. Tab. Oh, here we go. Uh, seed log. Right. Um. The Dartmoor Lecture. The Cooking Book. The Smoking Book. Pyrophiles. The Dartmoor. Okay, I need one more clue, apparently. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, E. Now I can plant the seed. Okay, let's pick up the plot. Um, right, we are going. Nope, we're going the wrong way. We have to go downstairs into the kitchen. Which I forgot where it was this way, wasn't it? It's a long way to come from the kitchen to the dining room. Now. Where's the fire? No. Oh! I was right! Okay. So... Okay, crack. Uh, oh, maybe I have to put it in the smoking place as well. Do I have to shut the door? Oh, I have to put the right wood on there. Oh, oh. I think it was oak. Only because, didn't they say that Dartmoor used to be full of oak trees? Possibly? Okay. What? Oh! I was right! Okay, add a clue. Phoenix of the forest, grow the phoenix of the forest. The ash plume is a pyrophile, evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seeds cracked open with extreme heat, and afterwards the oak smoke from its, inhabit its habitat indicates it's safe to blow. Ah, so it needs heat and smoke. Um, but we need another clue. We've got the seed log of the cooking book. Pyrophiles, the Dartmoor poster, the smoking book, the Dartmoor lecture. But what else? Was, what else clue was it? Oh, apparently there's a gatehouse delivery. Oh, there's a there's another clue that I haven't got. That's the smoking book. Did I miss something? It's duck. It was the I've got to go to the gatehouse, obviously. It was this. It was that. Maybe there was the Dartmoor poster. Where was that Dartmoor poster? Um, 
gatehouse. Where was the gatehouse? Even out the front door. I even forget where the gatehouse was. There's no map. Just hoping that this is the way to the gatehouse. Yes. Phew. Gosh. Okay. Ring the bell. Yes. Currently busy. There's a key. Oh. Add a clue. Dear Lady Green, we are pleased to deliver a new key for your orchard gate. We hope you are enjoying the gate. Don't hesitate to visit us again should you need further metalwork or decoration for the manor. Okay. Okay. The orchard gate. Radio, off we go. To the orchard. We're still missing a clue. Must be the poster, perhaps? Good question, I don't know. Now, was the orchard this way? I cannot remember which way the orchard was. Yes, it was. Okay, off we go. Peculiar petals. Okay, so I think that's where we'll leave it now because it'll take me more than a while to. Gosh, this is very loud. To collect all these clues, and if I do them now, I won't remember it next time. But this is the orchard, it's got apples, mostly apples, and not much else. So we'll explore the orchard next time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this looks like a real fun game to play. I like the little puzzle element in it and finally cracking the puzzle and growing something. So um, if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. All those wonderful things. And I hope that you've all had a great day. I hope that this beautiful garden has improved your day. Just look at the beautiful sky and the sun and listen to the birds and the music. And if you're at the end of your day, well I hope that tomorrow is going to be a great day for you. So I'll say goodbye for now and um, I'm sending you all love and warm hugs and wonderful thoughts and I'll see you next time on Botany Manor. Bye for now. <laughs>